Hey guys, James with TFB TV, SHOT Show 2020. I'm in the area I like to call, affectionately, the dungeon. I'm with my boys. You guys know I come to Full Conceal every year because yeah. you guys do something every year. You listen to consumers, yes. you listen to complaints, yes. and you do something. Like yeah. you, you actually act on it, and I think that's cool. And uh, You've addressed another concern yes. with your new product. Tell yes. us about it. So our new product right here, we're calling it the M3D S6. S6 stands for sub 600. And the reason why we did that is this gun is under $600. So we took more of the manufacturing process in-house. We're making our own slides. We're making a lot of our own components now. And this gun's MSRP at 599. So a lot of people, we, we hear it, we understand it. Thousand dollars is a lot of money for a gun, especially if it's a first time gun user. $600, it's right in that sweet spot. It's, it's now affordably priced at that price range that people can really try it out now and see it and see if it's the one for them. Because that was like a common complaint. Yes. You, I mean, you guys were looking at a grant for right. like just about anything. And now you guys have done this. Right. The question people are gonna ask is, okay, well, how, how is this $600? Like what, what, were there corners cut? Like what'd you guys No, do? no corners were cut. This is actually pretty much a, a Gen 3 clone. Uh, and, and what we were really able to do is, is with the four years that we've been doing this, we've really started to hone in our machining process and we really got better and better at it. So now we can make our own slides. We can make our own, a lot of our own uh, materials in house that we just had to source out before. Mm -hmm. So now bringing more and more things close to the belt and close to the heart and really in house, it's just the cost goes down for us. So we now can bring that down to the consumer. Everything is the exact same quality. Sure, and what are we talking about in terms of percentage of manufacturing? How much do you guys make in-house? What's the, uh, the makeup? Right, so we make the slide in-house. We make all the, the little components in-house. Uh, the barrels, we've actually teamed up with the company and, and we were getting a really good price break on them because of our volume. Uh, and also, we, we're not barrel makers, right? Mm -hmm. We're sticking with our wheelhouse. Sure. So we, we really want the best product out there so we're not going to cut corners because ultimately someone's going to rely their life on this what's the right? finish on the slide the finish on the slide this is actually for shot show uh we we had to seracote it but it will be black nitrite mm -hmm. okay um, you're going to do black nitrite right okay right uh, yeah it looks good with the seracote yeah it's going to use glock sights glock magazines yeah glock you could everything right? glock everything you could treat it just like you would your gen 3. Okay. So you put different sights on there, you could change out the trigger if you want. The trigger shoe has to remain the same because that's the action that folds, but everything else, treat it like your Glock. And does it have the same trigger that you guys have on your standard? Yeah, if models? you actually take a look here, it's the same exact trigger. Yeah, and, so, well, and the reason why I'm asking yeah. is I know you guys charge like 100 bucks for the trigger because yeah. some people actually like to add them to their Glocks. I was right. pleasantly surprised, and I mentioned that at numerous points in my review, where I said, look, maybe this metal paddle doesn't feel that great, right. but the trigger itself, the trigger pull and the yeah. reset is fantastic. Yeah. So I, I was just curious if like, you know, you put like a budget trigger in there. No, everything yeah. is the exact same. We could actually enter, and that's part of making our cost go down. We're now able to interchange a lot of parts on this gun, on our 999 production one, that's a Glock base. It uses all the same exact parts. Well, this is cool, and I'm yeah. glad to see you guys addressing a, a, a concern in the industry. People felt like they were priced out, right. and you have done something about that. Yeah, yeah, and, it, and it's really for the, the new user who doesn't want to spend that $1,000 on a gun because they don't know if they're going to like it. At $599, you could take that risk, see if you like it. It shoots just like a Glock. Uh, Lee... You know I can't put that in my pocket, so do the thing. Do the right. thing. Right. Oh, do the do thing. It. Do it. Do the thing. Yeah. Show them. So Show it goes them. right in the pocket. I'm wearing slacks. I'm not tacked out at all. Right. <laughs> this is how I go, just uh, everyday yeah, business. Sure. And if something were to happen, it's actually right out of the pocket, ready to go. Right. I have 22 rounds of nine mil downrange. You can keep one hot in the tube, yeah. and then whenever you deploy that grip, right. boom, you're it's, ready to go. It's done. It's just that simple. Lee, thanks a ton. I really appreciate it. Thank you. you guys are so good to me every year. You know, you're always willing to talk on TFB yeah. TV. So it's always a treat. Thank you. Stay tuned, everyone. Going to bring you more from SHOT Show 2020.